Hey, don't try and move. You got pretty beat up back there. Erebon Shadow Legacy is a title that definitely surprised me. I didn't know too much about this indie gem going in, and to be honest, I had a lot of fun. So let's dive into the shadows and find out if it is worth picking up. In Erebon Shadow Legacy, you play as Ayana. She is the last known of her kind, the Erebon, which are a forgotten race that can become one with the shadows. You have been recruited by Helios, a power company that claims to be the giver of energy to every corner of the galaxy. Despite their seemingly positive exterior, it doesn't take long to realize that something is truly amiss here. So Ayana takes it upon herself to find out the truth about Helios and their ties to the disappearance of her people. Being set in a dystopian, morally grey universe, Erebon's Shadow Legacy gives you the responsibility of seeking out your ancestry and finding out what exactly Helios did that led the world to such ruin. This approach to the narrative is definitely intriguing. Whilst the evil corporation takes over the world plot is not exactly a new idea, the game definitely leaves its own unique mark on the concept with its involvement of rebel factions, curious AI that are both used by Helios and others, and the far reach of the Erebon race itself. There is a lot to uncover as you traverse your way through the various ruins and temples turned into Helios facilities. The game is also fronted by a very cynical Ayana, who is full of distrust and isn't afraid to show it through a series of wit and sarcasm. Ayana, right? Um, I have something. Good for you. Ah, and they say sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. Ayana's character fits perfectly with the world that she has been thrown into. And to be honest, her witty banter made me laugh often, while still maintaining a level of severity that the narrative required. A locked door is no match for the intrepid Ayana. E yeah, no, sorry, I was trying out a more epic adventure tone. Major props to Ayana's voice actor for getting that balance right. However, it is in the gameplay where this title truly shines. Erebon's Shadow Legacy has a strong focus on stealth. Actually, it's the only way to survive against Helios' constant threat. Using the shadows to your advantage, you can choose to either slip past your enemies or take them down one by one. You merge with the shadows to defy physics and glide up walls, along the ground, and even slip through blocked areas. You can even channel your inner Dark Knight and drop into grates for an easy way through to your objective. Now, as I mentioned, stealth is your only option. If you get caught by Helios robots, it's game over. You have no way to fight them head on. I was initially a bit torn by this, as the traditional action-adventure side of me wanted to throw down the moment I got caught. Whoa, 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 is there a problem? Huh? You wanna go? You wanna go? Which, at first, was a lot. But after I brushed up on my sneaking skills and upgraded some of the shadow abilities, I found myself really enjoying the gameplay. Erebon's Shadow Legacy does require a degree of planning though. You can't just rush through each section, like I tried to, and expect to make it to the end of the level without great difficulty. You won't have to slow down to a crawl, however, taking your time to see where the shadows lie and how they move will help you find the ideal approach. It can be tricky to keep to the shadows though, especially because of how your foes will use light to try to hinder your progress. Occasionally, this game felt like a puzzle platformer with how I had to work out my way through some tricky situations, especially when choosing the non-lethal approach. On that point, whilst this is a stealth-focused title, you can still take down your enemies. The game even rewards you for doing so, but not without a few drawbacks. Taking down Helios robots may provide a harvest of spare parts or even shadow essence, which is great for crafting ammo for various abilities. However, they can be repaired by other robots and will then try to hunt you down. You can also choose to take down Helios human workers, but this is where things get a bit dicier. Lethally eliminating human enemies will provide a boost to your shadow meter, meaning you can merge with the shadows for longer periods of time. But it will affect your morality meter, which can have significant consequences as the game progresses. So the choice is yours. You can either be a benevolent pacifist that is just trying to get the job done, or a violent assassin that dispatches anything in your path. Erebon Shadow Legacy is played in chapters with each new one placing you in a different environment to explore. Whilst the game is broken up into levels, most of them feature a semi-open design with a few main missions and side quests available for you to tackle. Most of these quests are just brief sidesteps from the main story to investigate areas nearby or to deal with certain issues along your way to each primary objective. So you'll never find yourself bogged down by these quests Instead, they just add a little extra to your exploration of each area. 
Each chapter also has a score system. Depending on how you complete a level will determine the letter grade that you receive. This was a great incorporation of replayability into the game, as I found myself playing certain chapters multiple times to attain all the medals, particularly the ruthless one, as well as to try and speedrun each level and get all the collectibles. Depending on what you're trying to achieve in your replays can vastly change how you play, so the chapters can feel a lot more varied just based on your approach. Now, I do have to make a brief mention of Erebon's visuals. The cell shed design looks fantastic and works so well for this style of game. The vibrant colors make the distinction between some shadows and light super clear, which I know can sound silly, but trust me, this is important, only to realize that you are technically in the light. It happens. Not too often, but it does happen. Erebon's Shadow Legacy is well designed, but it isn't free of a few bugs. Now, I will quickly mention, I didn't encounter too many bugs in my playthrough. The ones I did encounter, though, were a bit of a hindrance. There have been a few occasions where, whilst merging with the shadows, Ayana would randomly fall through the floor and be walking on air underneath the play area. I tried to find my way back when this happened, as there seemed to be a pathway inside. However, I couldn't, leading me to having to restart from a previous checkpoint. Sometimes, this wasn't a big issue, because the game had saved moments before. However, at other times, I would have to redo large sections of a mission as a result. Like I said, it didn't happen too often, but it was definitely annoying when it did. Erebon's Shadow Legacy is a great stealth adventure. The intriguing narrative and stealth platforming are combined well with intuitive level design to provide an engaging experience. The game will push you to retrain your thinking a little and actually try to avoid encounters wherever possible. Even though there are some bugs here, the game is fun to play and will provide hours of entertainment. So what are you waiting for? Go pick up Erebon's Shadow Legacy.